my shoulder should be over my knee and my knee should be over my toe. Okay, just like this. My feet are wide and I'm balanced. Okay, now my upper body should be about the same angle as my shin. If I'm still moving forward and I try to turn, I'm gonna carry my weight over my front or over my plant foot. So be under control. Then we transition from the curl wrap, okay? All right, so we're learning how to start and stop before we can run routes, right? Here we go. Set, go. Get then up. you're gonna take your plant foot, which going this way would be your left foot, right? Under control, that foot's gonna turn at about a 45 degree angle. Cause that's what, cause when you're way out to the side and you've got 50,000 people in the stands yelling and screaming, you can't hear the snap count. You guys ready to play in front of 50,000 people? Yeah. A high behind catch and a low behind catch. Okay? So circle here. We have a half circle here. So we got a full circle where my, where my arms can go, right? Like this. So we cut that circle in half here. Everything above on the, this half of the circle is going to be with thumbs and index fingers together like this through here. Right? Everything from this half of the circle is going to be with pinkies together like this. You ready? Say go. Good. Good. Okay. We don't want to catch the fat of the ball. We want to catch the small of the ball. We want to catch the front of it like this. Because that ball can't get through our hands here, can it? So I used to tell my receivers when you're running a crossing route, attack the football a little bit downhill. Get it in your hands sooner and you're attacking the ball, it makes it harder for the defender to make a play on it. Say go. Good, DeHaven. Say go. Good job, excellent. Pull it into a tuck, there you go, that's the way. Say go. Ah, that's a great job there. For the reason Luke, I like hey. to catch the ball like this is because this brings this shoulder down here. Now when I catch, I can make a transition upfield easier with this shoulder down. If I'm like this, okay, first of all, it's a harder catch because the ball can go off my hands. And secondly, I've got to pull it in and now I've got to transition my shoulder. We're running this way, we're gonna catch it and we're gonna turn. When the ball's in the air, the route, the pass route is no longer, it no longer counts. You go get the football. So it's okay, you can stop and go back and get Listen, it. Listen, I'm making him do it again, but you guys are learning from this, right? Because you're seeing what's right and what's wrong. Okay? Turn it here. Say go. Excellent job. Say go. Good, perfect. That's exactly what we want. You see how easy that is? How natural that feels when you catch it and you turn like that? Excellent. Good job. Okay, so if my hands are down here, my eyes are there. My hands are up here, my eyes are there. Everywhere my hands go. So you can sit in class in school next year and you can, on your free time, you do this. And people will think you're weird, but you just tell them I'm practicing football. Practicing how to catch. Okay, hands and eyes working together, all right? Stock block means you're following somebody around wherever they go. If Mazenga goes this way, where am I going? Same way. I'm stalking him, right? Wherever he goes, I'm stalking him. So we want to come off the line of scrimmage running really hard, just like we would on a pass route, so that this guy can't tell. Is when I come off the line of scrimmage, I need to break down about three yards from him. Okay, and then I settle three yards from him. He goes this way. I want you to move to him. Okay, wherever he goes. Stay with him. Okay, now you want to maintain contact. So you don't hit him and then let him go. Contact. The problem is though, is if you allow your aggression to override playing smart, then you're going to end up missing a lot of blocks. Because what a good running back is taught is this. If I've got Lipscomb here and I turn him here, Where's the running back going to go? Inside. Right off my butt. Say go. Break down. 
Stay with him, settle, stay with him. Widen the base, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Guys, get like this. You ever seen sumo wrestling? No. You ever seen those big fat guys? Yeah. <laughs> Go to YouTube and look up sumo wrestling and watch how wide and low these guys hit each other and how stable their base is and how they're like this. That's how you need to stock block. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Stay go. Stay break down, break down, break down. Stay with him, stay with him. Stay with him. Widen your base, widen your base. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Good. We run down field and we're catching the ball over the shoulder. There are a couple things that I'm going to point out here. So that means I want your head down for 10 yards. Because I don't think you guys will make it to 15. Now the high school guys and older guys, I usually tell them to run 15 yards without even thinking about anything other than that. So you guys, I don't want you to turn and look until you get about 10 yards. If you snap your head around this far, what does that do? It slows you down. It slows you down, exactly. So what I want you to do is I want you to peek. So we're running and our head is, we're peeking. I can see that ball out of my peripheral vision in my left eye, right? Ball is out there, you run. Pump the arms and run. Don't run with the hands out or you'll slow down. Run to the ball, run to the ball, run to the ball, and then stick your hands out at the last second and make the catch. Here we go. Say go. Good. That's the way. Good. Don't wait for the ball to come to you. Catch it on his back hip. All right, Brady? We catch it at its highest point. All right. Remember when I said earlier, when the ball is in the air, the route is off. Listen, even in the NFL, at the pro level, it's rarely do you see that ball right on stride with the guy every single time. Good receivers will adjust to the football. They take their body to the ball. So if I'm running down the field and I see that ball isn't perfectly thrown, I go get the football. Okay, I take my body to it. Don't wait for it. Because that defensive back's looking back. He sees the ball, he's going after the ball. If you wait for it, he's gonna step in front of you, pick it off, and he's gonna go the other direction. Take your body to the ball, get to the ball, catch it at its highest point from here on up if you can. There you go, a little better when you throw it earlier. Okay, good, guys, go. good. Up, get up in the air, catch it up here. Right? Oh, there you go. Jump. There you go. Yeah. Good job. Not many of them understand that. If you learn how to catch the ball up here at its highest point, because I guarantee you're not getting a lot of throws on stride at the level you play at, right? Balls probably, how many guys have balls that are pretty much going everywhere, right? Yeah, so you gotta learn to adjust to them, okay? All right, Luke, jump up and catch it above your head. Up, oh, that's the right idea. Here we go. So we come here, sit, move to the ball, step inside, and then back outside. Okay? Turn out, there you go, that's the way. Turn outside, excellent. You come to it. Outside, outside. And we make what's called a 45 degree angle inside. So we start with our outside foot back. Okay, we're one, two, three, change directions, 45 degrees inside. Okay. One, two, three. Up. Now what did you do with your hand? You're good. Okay, you, you're a very talented kid. You're gonna be a good receiver when you get older. But be coachable and understand that there's a lot you can still learn, okay? So, if you take your ability level and you add to that all the right techniques, you can be as good as you wanna be, okay? So don't do this, do this, or this. Okay? There you go. There you go. Good job. Good job. There you go. There you go. There Good go. job. That's better. There you go. Come on, look. Come on, look. Run to it. Oh, oh. there you go. There we go. Good. Good job, guys. Come on in. That's an excellent job today. At the beginning, the most important part about playing receiver is understanding that you're part of a team. Okay. 
Receivers on three, receivers on three. One, two, three, receivers! Good job, guys.